Hello, I'm Javis Lewis, and in this episode, I'm hoping to show you how to combine two wireless devices, two wireless Logitech devices onto the same USB receiver, thanks to a little software tool called the Unifying Receiver Software. So I currently have on my desk a Logitech M325 mouse here, this one, and I also have a Logitech K360 keyboard. And both of these devices came with their own little USB dongle that is now plugged into the front of my Windows computer. But because I'm having so many USB devices, I'd like to combine both of these so that they both talk on the same receiver and then basically take one receiver out, have one spare. That's the idea. I'm in the lucky position that I remember which of these receivers belongs to which device. And the only way I can remember that is because my keyboard appears to be slightly newer than the mouse. So this has the new Logitech logo, which is in all small letters. And then I also have the M325 mouse, which comes with the Logitech spelled with a capital L with the kind of older logo there. So that is how I can tell these devices apart or the receivers apart. And in order to add them to the same receiver, I need to take one out. And for that, I need this little software tool called the Unifying Software. I'll put a link in the description of this video. I found it by Googling. It allows me to pick my operating system here, Windows, Mac, or Chrome OS, very exciting. And I can then pick the version of my operating system here. So I'm using Windows 10, this is exactly what I need. And I've already downloaded that in order to access it i can just do that from up here it's the uh, file is called unifying 250 last updated in april 2014 so let's hope it still works shall we let's launch it let's accept the conditions that we've read in 0 0.02 seconds and uh, that's that perfect great a little orange icon pops up here and says welcome plug it forget it add to it you're now ready to use your logitech unifying receiver and you can pick up to six compatible wireless mice keyboards and other devices with one single logitech unifying receiver that's perfect let's try it out so first i'm being asked to unplug either of the unifying receivers from my computer then wait a few seconds until the next button appears okay so i'm thinking that i'll probably use the receiver that came with my mouse and that means uh, even if it doesn't weigh anything i don't want to put that into the bottom of it it has a little holder here that i can just add that receiver into every time i make a mouse movement it would mean i'd have to drag it around with me so i think my keyboard has a similar little hole so i'm going to put that receiver into the keyboard so i'm going to take the one for the keyboard out let me do that that's the one with Logitech in all lowercase letters. That's at least that's the plan. So I can put that safely into my keyboard. He says, open this up. There we go. This is where it lives. And then if I need it again, I know where it is. All right. Now I guess we'll click the next button. Lucky for me, my mouse still works because if I had unplugged the wrong one, that would have been really bad. But luckily, that's cool. Restart your keyboard K360. Perfect, so it knows what keyboard that is. Locate the on-off switch that's at the very top here. It's on different keyboards, probably in different positions. Let's switch that off. Move the slider to back to on. Hey, there we go. Your keyboard K360 is now ready to use. That's good to know. Let's uh, click that. Perfect. And it already knows that these compatible wireless devices are paired with the unifying receiver. So keyboard is now new and the mouse is still attached to it. And I'm using one less USB input on my computer. That's fantastic. I can pair four more compatible wireless devices with my unifying receiver. Great. Wondering what to do with your spare unifying receiver? Get some ideas. Let's get some ideas, shall we? Put it on eBay, maybe. I don't know how much these go for. Great. And then I'm being put to like some generic Logitech website. Okay, slight letdown then the user experience. But anyway, I'm going to click the finish button now. And I hope that's the end of it. Thank you so much for watching. If this was helpful, give this video a like and tell all your friends, family, and of course, total strangers. I do remember trying that in the past and it was a total nightmare. So I think any advice that I could give away is that make sure you know which receiver belongs to which product. Take time to test it so that when the software asks you, 
you're not scrambling and trying and testing and accidentally pairing the wrong item to the wrong receiver. That's that's the only tip I can give you because I don't remember to be this painless last time I've tried it. I'm glad we could do this together. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Thank you.